During one of my rides down in Nevada, I happened to pass Sand Mountain. I've always drove by it, but I never stopped in. So I pulled in there on my bike. I was just watching all the side-by-side -side guys just go at it. It was actually really entertaining watching with the drone. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, let's get out of this mess. Holy crap, it is busy here. All right, what's going on everyone? Double D once again. And I am kind of back where my old stomping grounds. I'm five hours north over in Fallon. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna set the dunes out today. This is kind of, there's a lot going on here. Plus I don't really have a flag either, so. I was just passing by and I saw Sand Mountain and I never really been up to it before. So I was like, screw it. I'll save my gas for something else. Yeah, I I want to hit the dunes. Like, I love riding sand and stuff, but there is a lot of crazy people out and they're side-by-sides today and who knows what they're, what they got in the cup holder, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I think we can run stuff here. I apologize. I just realized I was... I don't have my little wind blocker thingies. I think they're called like dead mouses or whatever. But um, little fuzzy things that go on the mics to cut down on wind noise. But um, I need to find out if Middlegate has gas. Cool, it does have gas and it's 15 minutes away. So I can, honestly, I'm kind of hungry too. Yep, there goes the side by side guys. I almost got themselves killed and almost got me killed as well. Ah, what a lovely day. I had such a crap day at work too, and I almost, I almost die. So, my time comes, my time comes, but I don't want to be taken out by side by side. That's not how I want to go. <laughs> so this is my best editing ability of what happened because I didn't get any of this on footage. So I was going up a mountain pass on the 50 in Nevada, and the KLX just doesn't really have the power to get around when you're going up a pass. So I was just kind of stuck behind this guy. And then. Of course, traffic builds up behind me. And then the moment you're able to pass on flat ground, a semi-truck going about mock Jesus starts flying around us. And then without looking, the side-by-side -side guy in front of me just merges left into the desert, cutting off the semi, and then he has to merge back into my lane, almost taking me out. And it was quite the ordeal, and I about shat myself, so, yep. Oh my god. I'm having really the worst day I've had in a long time. I almost get killed by a side by side. And work is shitty. I had to be at work at 4.45 in the morning. And then my phone fell off my bike and a uh, camper was tailgating me and literally ran it over. Yeah, it's one of those days. That sucks. Aw oh, man. How am I gonna play Call of Duty Mobile now? Watch these guys cut cut in my trail here. Nope. Oh, okay. I, I just can't get over how that just happened. Like I've gone thousands and thousands of miles without dropping my phone off of the bike. And then one of the shittiest days I have in a long time, that's when it decides to happen. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta sit back and laugh at things. What really does suck is I'm supposed to meet my buddy tomorrow and I don't know how I'm gonna get in contact with him. What is that? a deuce and a half out here. I've been out here before, but I don't recall seeing it. It's like a little rocket truck. Dude, that is cool. That is cool stuff. One of the biggest disadvantages of the KLX is a small gas tank. Out here, you definitely need that range for sure. It's kind of funny. Just being out here kind of makes you realize or myself makes me realize that uh, how dependent I am on my phone when it comes to producing these videos. Without the phone, you can't fly the drone. But then also, I use my phone to edit the videos too, so... I, I guess I gotta make my way to town today to get a phone. Bottom line, so... Um... I am 55 miles in. I hit reserve around 90. So I need to make my way to Middlegate. So on this bike I hit reserve right around 
80 or 90 and I'm about 55 miles in so middle gate's another 10 minutes down the highway here so After a pretty shit day, a Coors banquet and a nice steak dinner in the middle of nowhere definitely hits different. If it wasn't for this place, I'd be shit out of luck. Alright, reset. Might as well have some fun. There goes the death machines. Those things almost killed me today. Unfortunately, the bad luck continued on to the next day, and I ended up getting a flat. Front tire's flat. Luckily, we were just not too far from the trucks. Oh, a valve stem got ripped off. Well, this tube junk looked like I got this brand new one in the truck here. Yeah. Get in there. Ooh, that was spicy. Finally back at this cabin. And I got Sean with me this time too. I met in that video too. I was talking like, man, Sean would absolutely love this place and now he's here with me today. So fantastic. Uh, I'm so feels so good to be back here again. <laughs> I, I remember seeing that graffiti. Oh yeah, someone's had a fire going recently. Gotta be smarter than the fireplace. Please come. There we go. Ooh, fireball. Don't mind if I do. Dude, it's so, it feels so nice being back here again. You have no idea. Uh, I'd love to come camp here. Oh, me too. How's he get? And this stuff, you kind of get decent grit. Yeah. It's not too bad. Man, it feels so good being back here. Man. All iced up in there. This spot's a little... Ooh. This spot's not hard. Well, it's a little tricky. I'll give it that. It's just tricky. You just gotta pick a just good line. And just pick a good line and go. Just keep your momentum flowing. Just don't only get stop on it. Get fully stopped on that stuff. It's kind of squirrely, but just let the bike roll. And it sounds here. It's pretty good. I'm gonna head up the hill here and help out Sean. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta let her roll. Put her in first gear, just engine brake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sean hates this kind of stuff. <laughs> this is so fun. It's just, it's nothing crazy, but we're just, it's fun going through the grass. It's not hurt nobody. It's all dead anyway. Ooh, got ice and water in the mix. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. It's a lot worse than you think. 
can't tell how deep it is. Though. Yeah, I can't really tell how deep it is. And some of them were like up to the belly of the uh, gas tank. I was shot. The only thing I see is huge. Yeah, it's 30 odd degrees today. I'm not trying to yeah, get. I'm trying to avoid this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, let's go down a little further. I'm down. And if there's no creek crossings, if there's creek crossings, we just have to head back. Yeah, luck wasn't really on my side for the last two days of that trip, but. It was nice to meet up with my buddy Sean and then just ride the desert. I just really missed the desert overall. But anyways, that's the end of my Nevada stuff. But anyways, stay tuned where I buy a very powerful adventure bike. And I absolutely rip it on the stuff around here. By rip it, I mean like 35 miles an hour. But anyways, once again, y'all have a good one now.